you, Dick. Well, even though tonight's storm did some minor damage, just about everything is ready for Balloon Fest 86, set to take place in downtown Cleveland tomorrow to benefit the United Way. Literally millions of balloons will be released on Public Square, which will set a world record. In September 1986, Cleveland, Ohio, set out to break the world record for the largest simultaneous release of balloons as part of their celebration of the city's 200th anniversary. The event, dubbed Balloon Fest 86, was a spectacle to behold, with over 1.5 million balloons released into the air. However, what was meant to be a joyous celebration quickly turned into a disaster, with the balloons causing havoc on land and sea. In this video, we will delve into the story behind Balloon Fest 86, exploring the build-up to the event, the catastrophic aftermath, and the lessons learned from this unique moment in history. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post more videos. The idea behind Balloon Fest 86 was simple yet audacious. Release more than a million balloons into the sky and break the world record for the largest simultaneous launch of balloons. The event was planned as part of Cleveland's celebration of its 200th anniversary as it promised to be a spectacular display of color and joy but nobody could have predicted the chaos that would ensue. The planning for Balloon Fest 86 began months in advance, with volunteers working tirelessly to fill thousands upon thousands of balloons with helium. The organizers hoped to create an unforgettable sight with a mass of colorful balloons filling the Cleveland sky. The balloons were meant to be biodegradable and were made of latex, which would break down naturally over time. The stage was set for a breathtaking display of community spirit and pride. On the day of the event, September 27, 1986, crowds gathered in downtown Cleveland, eagerly awaiting the moment when more than 1.5 million balloons would be released into the sky. The balloons had been arranged in nets, which would be released at the same time by a team of volunteers. At precisely 1.50 p.m., the signal was given and the balloons were released. Five, four, three, two, one. Here they go. Okay, lift off. Amazing. And the fan is up, and there they go, John! The sight was truly awe-inspiring. A sea of colorful balloons filled the sky, creating a breathtaking display of color and motion. But within minutes, the balloons began to drift down to the ground, carried by the wind. Traffic was snarled as drivers found their vision obscured by the balloons. Boats on nearby Lake Erie were also affected as the balloons caused visibility problems for the Coast Guard. It soon became apparent that the release of so many balloons had been a grave mistake. Despite the chaos that ensued, the balloon launch itself was a remarkable achievement. The sheer number of balloons released into the sky was unprecedented and created a truly unforgettable spectacle. But the aftermath of the launch would haunt the city for years to come as it became clear that the balloons had caused untold damage to the environment and wildlife. The organizers of Balloon Fest 86 would learn a harsh lesson about the consequences of well-intentioned events gone wrong. The weather on the day of Balloon Fest 86 was far from ideal. A cold front had moved in, bringing strong winds and heavy rain to the area. The organizers were aware of the weather conditions, but decided to proceed with the launch anyway, believing that the balloons would simply drift out to sea. Unfortunately, this was not the case. As soon as the balloons were released, they were caught by the strong winds, which pushed them back toward the city. The rain also had an impact, causing the balloons to become waterlogged and heavier, which made them even harder to control. The result was a disaster that nobody could have predicted. The balloons quickly descended to the ground, causing chaos on the streets and interfering with air and sea traffic. The weather conditions had turned what was meant to be a celebration into a catastrophic event. In the aftermath of the balloon launch, the city of Cleveland was left with a massive mess to clean up. The balloons had caused chaos on the streets and waterways, but the real damage was yet to come. As the balloons began to drift out to sea, they became tangled in the air, creating a massive mass of balloons that was visible for miles around. The tangled mass of balloons soon became a media sensation, with news outlets around the world covering the story of Balloon Fest 86. 
but the reality of the situation was far from amusing. The balloons had caused untold damage to the environment, with many washing up on nearby beaches and endangering wildlife. The cleanup effort was immense, with volunteers working around the clock to collect the balloons and dispose of them properly. As the tangled mass of balloons drifted back to the ground, chaos ensued on the streets of Cleveland. Drivers were forced to swerve to avoid falling balloons, causing accidents and traffic jams. Pedestrians were also at risk, with many being hit by the falling balloons as they walked down the street. Emergency services were overwhelmed, with police and firefighters struggling to keep up with the number of calls they were receiving. The situation was made worse by the fact that the balloons had become tangled in power lines and other infrastructure. This caused widespread power outages and disrupted communication networks, making it even harder for emergency services to respond to the situation. The balloons had littered the city and surrounding areas, with many washing up on nearby beaches and waterways. This caused harm to wildlife, with animals becoming entangled in the balloons and mistaking them for food. The long-term impact of the balloons on the environment is still not fully understood, but it is clear that the damage was significant. The disaster also highlighted the need for greater awareness of the impact of human activities on the environment. The balloons were a visible symbol of the problem of littering and the importance of proper waste disposal. In the aftermath of the disaster, many people began to take a closer look at their actions and the impact they were having on the world around them. The disaster at Balloonfest 86 had a devastating human cost. While no one was killed, dozens of people were injured as a result of the chaos that ensued. Many of these injuries were caused by falling balloons, which hit people as they fell to the ground. Others were caused by car accidents and other incidents that occurred as a result of the chaos on the streets. In addition to physical injuries, the disaster also had a significant emotional impact on the community. Many people were traumatized by the chaos and destruction they witnessed, and some struggled to come to terms with the fact that a seemingly innocent event could have such disastrous consequences. Despite the human cost of the disaster, the community rallied together in the aftermath to support one another and begin the process of healing. This sense of community spirit was a testament to the resilience of the people of Cleveland and their determination to overcome even the most challenging circumstances. In the aftermath of the disaster, the city of Cleveland and the organizers of Balloon Fest 86 were faced with the difficult task of cleaning up the mess and responding to the fallout from the event. This included everything from dealing with the environmental impact of the balloons to addressing the concerns of residents who had been affected by the chaos on the ground. One of the key responses to the disaster was a renewed focus on safety and risk management at public events. This included the development of new guidelines and regulations to ensure that similar incidents could be prevented in the future. The disaster also sparked a broader conversation about the role of large-scale events in communities and the need for greater consideration of their potential impact. Despite the challenges they faced, the city of Cleveland and the organizers of Balloon Fest 86 were ultimately able to recover from the disaster and move forward. The disaster at Balloon Fest 86 had a profound impact on balloon festivals and events around the world. In the wake of the disaster, many organizers of similar events were forced to reconsider their approach to safety and risk management, and many cities began to implement new regulations and guidelines to ensure that similar incidents could be prevented in the future. Despite the tragedy at Balloon Fest 86, however, balloon festivals and events continued to be popular around the world. Today, these events are often accompanied by stringent safety protocols and regulations designed to minimize the risk of accidents and ensure the safety of all participants and attendees. While the legacy of Balloon Fest 86 will always be a part of the history of balloon events, it is also a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the determination of communities to learn from past tragedies and create a safer and more responsible future. The disaster at Balloon Fest 86 taught us many important lessons about safety, risk management, and the potential impact of seemingly innocent events. 
One of the key lessons was the importance of planning and preparation in any large-scale event and the need for comprehensive risk assessments and contingency plans to address potential hazards and emergencies. Another important lesson was the need for greater environmental awareness in event planning. The mass release of balloons at Balloonfest 86 had a significant environmental impact on the surrounding area and it served as a powerful reminder of the need to consider the potential environmental consequences of any event. Finally, the disaster at Balloonfest 86 reminded us of the importance of community spirit and resilience in the face of tragedy. Despite the chaos and destruction of the event, the people of Cleveland came together to support one another and begin the process of healing. Today, Balloonfest 86 serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of safety, responsibility, and environmental awareness in everything we do, and it stands as a testament to the strength and resilience of the human spirit. The organizers succeeded in breaking their record, but was it worth it? Tell us what you think in the comments section below. And if you wish to contest their record, perhaps that's not the best idea.